Well, I mean, look, listen to all these people. The Greens did sound the best, and I think they'll attract a lot of people who would be sympathetic to socialism because they said tax the rich, they've got to do their share, and so on. That's absolutely right. The question we would have is how would you enforce it? Because we know very well from the previous experience that the super rich, the hedge fund owners, will take their money abroad. How would you be able to enforce that? And they didn't give an answer to that, and they didn't link it up with the need for public ownership, particularly of the banks and the finance houses. Otherwise, you know, you can say all these things, tax the rich, and a lot of, uh, you know, even the Conservatives say cut down on tax avoidance, but we know very well they never enforce it because they believe in a completely free, unregulated capitalist market. So unless you take the big companies, mainly the banks and other big institutions into public ownership, you can't control what you don't own. So, yes, it's encouraging to hear the Greens do that, but we think we do have to challenge them on how would you implement it. And going back to their Greens record in local government, it's not very encouraging, because when they've been in local government, they have actually gone along with cuts, instead of standing up for jobs and services.